morning everyone Susie here hope everybody's doing well it's really pretty early I just got up took my shower and I'm about to get ready for work so I am in need of a major cup of coffee and I picked this up at my local public store over the weekend and it's this new Pete's limited release pumpkin spice naturally flavored coffee so I was really excited when I saw this I will leave the price down below um, and it basically says you can make it over ice um, you can add a dusting of cinnamon or nutmeg on top splash of milk or cream sounds amazing and let's see so Brazil uh, roast coffee Pumpkin, cinnamon, and nutmeg notes made without artificial flavors, which I am very excited about because a lot of the pumpkin spice coffees um, are artificially flavored, and I feel like this one's going to taste really good because it's naturally flavored. So I did go ahead and pick this up, and I'm about to make my cup of coffee, and if it's really good, I might even have two cups because why not? Here is the K-Cup, and it is a little early for pumpkin spice, I know. I mean, it is only August, but um, I thought I'd really want to try this out because I haven't had pumpkin spice since last year, and, you know, I just thought I'd get ahead of the curve and go ahead and try it out. So, let's make us a cup. So, I'm going to put this in here, brew it on my 10-ounce setting. Oh, here we go. All right, and let's try it. All right, so I got my cup here and I added my oatmeal cookie creamer because I don't want it to be too pumpkin-y. Um, I like pumpkin spice, but I don't like it too pumpkin-y, so I thought I would try it this way. So I definitely taste the pumpkin and the nutmeg. Not really like cinnamon, more nutmeg allspice like pumpkin spice i mean pumpkin spice coffee but pumpkin spice like the spice when you smell it it smells a lot like nutmeg kind of allspice a little pumpkiny it's pretty good it's good um it's a like a light roast coffee so it's not very strong coffee flavor or anything um, I would actually almost prefer if it was more of a medium roast, but I wonder why they don't um, use like a like a medium roast coffee um, for flavored coffees rather than a light roast. I wonder if it's because they feel like the power of the coffee is going to be a little too strong or something. I don't know, but it's a it's a good one. Like I would actually really like to make an iced coffee with this. I think. Even though it is a lighter roast, I think it would be pretty good to make this as an iced coffee. I think it would give a really good, like an iced pumpkin spice, you know, flavor. It's really good. Plus, um, let me just say, I know I had someone in a comment once comment about why do I drink my coffee with straws? It's because I don't like staining my teeth with them. So when you drink coffee, believe it or not, your teeth get stained, just like when you have wine, coffee, tea. So when you drink it through the straw, your teeth don't get quite as stained from the beverage. So that's why. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. That's actually one of my favorites, I think, out of all the coffees. Um, I do really like uh, Starbucks pumpkin spice, but this one is really good too. So this one's a very close um, 
tie with the Starbucks and I like that it's a natural tasting flavor. It doesn't taste artificial or fake. You know, it actually tastes like a real genuine pumpkin spice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick review. Um, let me know if you've tried out this Pete's brand pumpkin spice coffee or do you have a favorite uh, brand when it comes to pumpkin spice? Let me know down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.